everyone, it's good YouTube. Warst you here with another video on season two, Legends of Tomorrow. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and comment. So just like the flash and arrow, after dropping the trailer for the first episode, 201, out of time, Legends of Tomorrow CW dropped some promotional pictures. Not a monster today, relentless, blue zero. So, let's get into these pictures. So there's not many pictures, I think there's nine. So the first image we're gonna look at is the White Canary, Heat Wave, Professor Sign, Jackson, The Atom and Rip Hunter, and Albert Einstein, which is quite interesting seeing as if you've watched a trailer before this, I'll link it in the corner. Professor Stein knocks Albert Einstein out, so they're obviously looking at something. It looks like the same scenery as we've seen in the Comic Con trailer where we've seen Damien Dark. So they're obviously looking at, at something, maybe, maybe one of the um, Legion of Doom people, so it potentially could be Damien Dark. Next image, image is the White Canary, Sarah Lance. This looks like the same footage that we got when we seen her getting into a fight with Damien Dark, saying that she'd been waiting a long time to do it to get some kind of redemption for Laurel Lance, the Black Canary. But funny enough, she's going to end up on this program anyway, as she has a deal contract to be on all four programs so it's going to be quite interesting to see how that plays out her being on legends tomorrow i can't really see her being on it a lot would be cool if we, if we got the black siren version as i feel that was her best role so the next image we get is jackson and professor stein looking like they're about to evolve into firestorm interesting enough firestorm obviously obviously because of flashpoint we could see Ronnie Raymond coming back in some capacity, potentially. Then we get Damien Dark, which is kind of cool for him, seeing as he got killed by the arrow in the season finale of season four. So obviously he's got a job again, so that's, that's good for him, seeing as he was being killed in arrow and being brought back. So I presume this is gonna be set before that happened, but then again, it could be due to Flashpoint. Um, by the way, they're dressed all in suits and kind of hats. I presume it's in the 1940s. So this image looks like it's the same footage from the Comic Con trailer where him and Sarah are gonna have a big fight. Um, I can't see him being killed again so soon as he is part of Legion of Doom alongside with Captain Cole, Reverse Flash, and Malcolm Merlin. Malcolm Merlin. Then the next footage is Heat Wave, looking like he's just taking out everybody in sight. Then we get Atom, we get a closer look at the suit. They probably modified the suit slightly, seen as they modified the Flash suit, they modified the Arrow suit by adding sleeves each season. Without telling you, they modified the suit slightly. And now it gets interesting as Stephen Amell, aka Oliver Queen, not to be confused with the Arrow, we're getting the Oliver Queen version in Legends Tomorrow. We haven't seen him since Star City 2046 episode in season one. He is looking like he's getting to, into a confrontation, beating up Heatwave. Heatwave kind of has a way to rub you up, but I don't believe you can correct me if I'm wrong, that Oliver Queen and Heatwave have ever met in the comic book. So, comment down below, I've got no idea what this could be about. And there's someone in the background of the picture who is Citizen Still, Nate Haywood. And then we get another image of Stephen Amell, AKA Oliver Queen, coming into the ship with Nate with Citizen Steel. Um so it is the first episode. Pretty cool that we got a cameo role from him. Seeing as he didn't say anything so he's been keeping this to himself. Um 
but it was quite obvious that we were going to get Stephen and Mel at some point, seeing as we've had more of the Flash in the Legends than we have of Arrow, and seeing as Arrow started all these programs off, kind of makes sense that he's going to be in it in some capacity. So he looks like he's coming onto the ship. He's got a a torch, interesting enough. So. And then we just get a really close up of the beautiful, well, if, you, if you think he's beautiful, of um, Citizen Steel. So he's part of the Justice Society of America. You see in the background, I've got an image of the Justice League of America. So that's the breakdown. I presume uh, now we're under four weeks until everything starts. We're probably going to get a longer trailer at some point for all four shows. And as soon as Supergirl drops the trailer, which will be soon, obviously it's going to be later because it's only started filming just before Comic Con. Stew or Stew. That's it. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment if you haven't already. I'll see you in another video. Comments down below. Uh, hit me up on Twitter, at more stew, at war stew, whichever account you want to hit up. Uh, I do reply back to every single comment on my YouTube and Instagram, at war stew, I think it is. And uh, yeah, I reply back to everybody. Anyway, goodbye. <laughs> Peace.